Hi, Brockton residents. Uh, again, welcome back. This is Maya Sullivan to our 29th episode of Our Brockton. And again, the title speaks for itself. It's Our Brockton. It's our community. It's our home. And today, it's really my honor and privilege to have a wonderful guest, Mr. Greg Fernandez. Hey, Greg, thanks for being on. It's my pleasure. I really my appreciate pleasure. it. I appreciate everything you're doing. And um, if you could tell the viewers a little bit about yourself, and of course, we want to talk about the Rose Conservatory, because it is a game changer for the City of Champions. For sure. Um, yeah, I'm Greg Fernandes. I'm a uh, Brockton native, been here my entire life. Um, my mom was a music teacher at Latin School in Boston for many, many years, and so I was introduced to music uh, at an early age. Started playing violin and piano at three, um, and uh, been doing that for a very, very long time. Uh, Rose Conservatory uh, is a brand new after school music program uh, offered to all of the Brockton Public School students, grades two and three. Um, and we have numerous programs for the kids to be involved with. We have two uh, mandatory programs that every kid must be involved with. That's the Brockton City Chorus and the West African Drumming Ensemble. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the kids will have a choice of a skill. So we have the rap and violin program, and then we have the DJ and piano program. Well, you forgot to tell everybody you're an author as well, a published author. And a I published mean, author. Yeah, no, I mean, that's unbelievable. Like a renaissance man, <laughs> quite honestly. But um, So I met Greg a while back, and uh, we've had meetings at City Hall. Uh, we've had meetings with Superintendent Mike Thomas. And um, the, the drum ensemble is something, if you haven't seen it, you gotta, you got to really see what the boys and girls do through the leadership of Greg. Uh, and just, just recently, we had a, a luncheon outside uh, City Hall. Uh, Lady C&J sponsored a luncheon, and you were there. Uh, with mm -hmm. kids from Gilmore Academy. From the Gilmore School, yes. I brought along some kids from the Community Beats program that we started last year. Uh, it was an amazing program. I basically went to uh, the Gilmore School every day and worked with a different grade. And at the end of the school year, we had uh, a performance with all mm. 456 kids at the same time drumming and dancing and just having a really good time so yeah and i witnessed yeah. that at east middle school last summer mm. uh you were out there and i know jackie jones and gwen Knowles were there and mike thomas was there and just the brockton kids were there yeah and and let's talk about this we're we're right now we're sitting in your new rose conservatory location why don't you tell the folks first of all where it's located mm -hmm. and and if they're interested how they get in touch absolutely rose conservatory is located in brockton at 1350 pleasant street uh, we are um, sharing space with Christ Congregational Church. Um, if you'd like to register your second or third grade student, you, go, you can go right to the website, which is roseconservatory.com, and you can get your children registered right there. Now, you've had a lot of conversations. We, we've done Zoom, right? Mm -hmm. That's the new thing, Zoom, Zoom, <laughs> Zoom. But we've done it with the Brockton <laughs> Symphony Orchestra. Yep. I mean, you're classically trained, mm -hmm. uh, and you're, you're a Brocktonian. Yeah. And, you know, when people think about Brockton, they don't necessarily think about classical music. Mm. Uh, so you, you, you really are, are really breaking the mold right now, and you're teaching the next generation, Greg, and that's yeah. what it's all about, right? Yeah. So, so let's talk about the drums, because yeah. I wasn't aware of these until I saw them last summer yeah. outside of East. What's, what's the history of that? Well, um... What actually happened two summers ago, uh, right after COVID hit, uh, a friend of mine, John Williams, uh, he runs the Champion City Mentor Program. Um, I bumped into him, uh, actually I bumped into his wife one day, and she was telling me that, you know, John was struggling because, you know, COVID had hit, there were these new protocols and things, and the summer camp program he had planned was really flipped upside down. Mm -hmm. And they were completely outside, socially distanced. I mean, porta potties couldn't even go in the buildings, yep. just lots of rules and regulations. And he was trying to figure out what he could possibly do outside in the heat all summer. So uh, it took a few days to think about it, and we came up with the idea of uh, getting some old dirty tires, and uh, we had the kids wash them and tape them up and decorate them and really transform the old dirty tires into some musical instruments, drums. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we use those for the entire summer. Thank you to Everett's Auto for donating those drums, those tires. Um, so we used those and we, we just had an amazing summer and produced some really awesome music. Um, and obviously, uh, Channel 5 caught wind of it. Yep. Uh, a lot of the administrators at the school department building caught wind of it. And, and that's really when my, my journey with the Brockton Public School System began. Um, and, you know, we talked with Mike Thomas a lot mm -hmm. about how we could really further this program. Um, and the first thing we had to do is to get rid of the dirty tires. Yeah. And so um, we ended up working out something to get the drums so the kids uh, can really use this. And, and these aren't 
my drums. These are the kids' mm. drums. These belong to the kids of Brockton, and uh, the music we will make from these drums and in every other program that we have here will will really be phenomenal and something new uh, for Brockton. Yeah, and so you talked about being creative using old tires to make music. I witnessed just last just last week yeah. again outside of City Hall. You used plastic buckets from Lowe's. Yeah. Right, I mean, you, you're just thinking outside the box to make yeah. music, and it's awesome. Well, there's a chapter in my book called Use what's the name? Everything. What's the title of your the book? The title of the book is Excuse Limit Zero, How to Overcome Your Mistakes and Thrive. Mm. And it's really just all about my story growing up here in Brockton and some of the things and some of the challenges mm -hmm. um, I faced doing that. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a great buy. You can find it right on Amazon. But, um, you know, one thing I've learned throughout my life is that, you know, you can't depend on people to do things for you all the time. And if you do, you'll be sitting around waiting. That's right. Uh, so you've just got to be proactive yep. and productive. Seize the day. Seize the day. Yeah. Use what you have at your disposal um, and make it work. Yeah. And make it work. So when we, before we went on air, uh, you talked about when you came to this venue mm. right here at the church and the walls were yellow. <laughs> what did that mean to you? Um, well, you know, uh, I must have called you 50,000 times and <laughs> trying to find spaces, and you were sending me to spaces. Uh, my Thomas was sending me to look at spaces, and things just weren't working out. And, and uh, you know, you get to a point where you just got to take a break mm -hmm. and, and just let the universe do its thing. Mm -hmm. So I took a step back, and I really stopped looking for a little bit. Um, and out of the blue, one day I got an email uh, a woman said, you know, I'm on the board of directors at this church and we're looking for someone like your organization to fill our space. And I said, that sounds great. Uh, let's meet up. And I, I came here and the day I walked in, um, my mother's favorite color was yellow. Mm. Uh, and that's why everything, you know, Rose Conservatory does is yellow. When I walked in and I saw the walls already painted yellow, yeah. um, there's, a, there's a Hebrew word, uh, beshert means uh, it was meant to be. Mm. And uh, this place was surely meant to be. Yeah, without question, Greg. And, and you know, talk about, um, you're going to have an open house tonight, right? We're going to try have to attract some more students. Yeah. Tonight. Yep. Uh, we had an open house a couple weeks ago. Uh, we have 49 registered kids awesome. as of now. Wow. Uh, we're hosting the open house tonight for the Angelo, the uh, George, the Hancock, and there's one more. Um, Angelo, Davis, George, Hancock. Okay, that's all of it. Now, if someone's watching here and they say, you know what, I have an old violin in my closet, mm. or I have an old trumpet, or I have a saxophone, and I, it's been sitting there in my cellar, my garage, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. take donations, right? We will take every and any instrument we can get our hands Just on. Just got these drums donated, Just right? Just got these yeah. drums donated. Um, we are collecting everything, although we may not have you know, uh, the guitar program yet right. or the trumpet are. What's our, the key word there? Yet. 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 <laughs> our ultimate goal is to really cater to every and any instrument kids want to play. Great. Um, so we're going to start, like I said, with the uh, violin, piano, chorus, and West African drumming. Um, and then we'll expand from there. Awesome. It, just like the, you know, we're just catering to second and third grade, uh, but have no fear, we will be expanding to other grades, I can assure you that, um, but we've got to take it one step at a time. Do you envision down the road um, the voice as an instrument? Do you, would you envision maybe choral or singing Well, that's at some definitely point? part of the program. That's one of the mandatory programs Great. that we have right now. Great. Um, and, you know, a lot of these programs were created due to my own personal experience, mm. um, especially uh, being a classically trained violinist. When I was um, a young kid in Brockton, there simply just wasn't anything for me. There wasn't an orchestra program for kids. There wasn't uh, any orchestra offered at the high school. And um, we're long past due to change that. Yeah. Um, and I'm working very closely with Mike Smith now at the high school. Yep. Um, and we've got similar aspirations of things that we'd like to see happen in Brockton. And so it's really just a melting pot of people working together, um, community support. Yep. Um, collaboration. Collaboration. It's all about collaboration. It's all about collaboration. Now, if someone wanted to reach out to you, how would they contact you? Um, not hard to find. Uh, for sure, you can reach me um, at the website, roseconservatory.com. Uh, you can always email me at roseconservatory at gmail.com. Uh, and 
feel free to follow us on social media. We're on Instagram, Facebook, Rose Conservatory, or at G Fernandes 508. Um, always putting information out there about what we're doing, always looking to get involved uh, in the community and what's going on and really gives these kids a chance to get out there and show what they can do. Thank you. Thank you so much, Greg. And For sure. It's been an honor and privilege to have Greg Fernandes, uh, the founder and creator of Rose Conservatory. And if you're interested or you have a child in the second or third grade, reach out to Greg. You can always reach out to the mayor's office, right, 508-580-7123. Uh, we're in this together. But I just want to applaud you for everything you've done. Thank you. But the future is bright, and I look forward to what you're going to do in the future. So, sure. um, you know, we are known as the city of champions. This guy right here is a champion in his own right. So, again, thank you for joining us for the 29th episode of Our Brockton. This is Mayor Robert Sullivan, and it is an honor and privilege to serve you here in the city of Brockton. Be well.